Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to topic 11. In this topic, we're going to be creating the stairs and the railing for the structure. Now to do that, what we're going to do is, we'll make a line from here down along the blue axis. And I will now take R to create a complete rectangle. Don't forget to make this rectangle, otherwise sometimes your railing might not get created. And your stairs as well. Now we'll go ahead and create a midline like this, a midline like this, and every time we divide it, you'd easily be able to get this midline. Now because the total height of the splint is 0.6, each step over here is 0.15 or half a feet, which is the correct riser height for any stairs. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be pulling this entire portion out one meter, which would be the landing. And I can easily double click to bring all these stairs out one meter. After this, each step from the second step will start coming out 0.3. Same for this, another 0.3. Then again, double click, double click and double click. And we will easily have these stairs created outside like this. Now you can erase these side lines off from here as well as from here. And we can pull this out 0.5 enter and go on this side as well and pull this out also 0.5 enter and as you guys can see we have easily created our stairs over here with one meter landing 0.3 tread size in each of this as well as a 0.5 extension from both the sides well after we have created our stairs we will be giving one two and three right click and make into group so we'll do a three click selection, right click and make it into a group. After that, we'll be selecting a line and now we'll be getting into creating our railings. So for this, I'm going to be using the line tool and I'll be creating a line along this 0.5 extension of ours. Now, once I've created the line, I will get a mid line over here or a mid point over here. And I will be able to give a height to this along the blue axis at one meter. After this, I can select this line and copy it from this side all the way to this midpoint over here at a lower step. Now, do remember whenever you are copying these things or anything at all, you will want to copy it from a reference point. For now, this is the reference point. And you're going to be placing it in the middle of this thread over here. After this, you will now select this as your reference point and you will now copy it over here so that we have a gap as such and once you all are done with this you all, are, you all will join the top portion of the railing over here as you guys can see we can now erase I'm even erasing the person off not a problem we will erase this line as well so basically we only have the top portion of our railing line after that, it might become pretty clear to all of y'all that we will be providing a circle over here of let's say 0 0.03 and I will now select this lines as well as this line, use the follow me command and click on this surface over here. And as you guys can see, we have now easily created a basic railing for these stairs. Now with the help of the three click process, so one, two and three, we can select the whole railing, right click and make it into one single group, M control copy it from this side over here as such. Now once you have created the two railings as well as the stairs, you can easily select each of these, right click and make them into one big group, which would be the railing and the stairs. Well guys, for this topic we have finished our railing and the stairs and we will be getting into the next topic and I'll see you over there.